how the live feed from a Blackmagic camera looks like when being controlled by a remote solution such as this one. It doesn't matter if you use a Blackmagic cinema camera or a pocket cinema camera, the technical solution will be the same. Now, on our remote control here, we have assigned the focus and iris remote control functions on this lever here, on the throttle. You can do the same with any such remote control, so it doesn't necessarily have to be this remote control in particular. Let's first test the, the focus function. I'm going to move the lever. You can see the focus moving further away. Let's move it backwards. You can see how nicely the focus picking is, uh, is showing where the, the focus is. Uh, this, starting with the latest firmware of, uh, of Blackmagic, you can also see while recording. Previously, it was, only, it was not possible on recording. I'm going to activate recording now. And let's test this while recording. You can see a small rack down there. Now, this screen that, that you are seeing is in fact a uh, solution that we are using for our aerial filming projects. And uh, this is not a full HDMI as you normally use. It is a, uh, a lower resolution one and it is using a video uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, transmission system. So the signal, the, the image that you're seeing now is being remotely uh, transferred to this uh, to this screen. Uh, let's see iris control now. Using the same lever, I'm closing and opening the iris. There are two other functions which uh, I did not uh, map on this uh, remote control because I do not need them. But if you need those, you could use them. Uh, there are the autofocus and auto iris functions, which you could call by assigning them to any of your remote control switches. I remember when I first saw Alex Moss demonstrating his follow me mode. Uh, his video impressed me a lot and uh, I wanted to, to have such a gimbal. Uh, so here it is with a Blackmagic pocket cinema camera on it. You can see the Alex Moss on a handheld gimbal working quite nicely. The secret is to have a well built, mechanically built gimbal, to have properly selected motors and to balance and tune the controller. So if you do all those things the right way, you will get to these results. Thank you.